Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today it's a Zara haul. I'm not really going to spend too much time on it, I just want to get into it because I do have quite a lot to show you. So I'm just going to get started. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me today. My name is Leslie. If you've watched my videos before, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. So let's go. So like I said, I do have a lot to show you, but I'm going to start off with this little cord set. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a reel where I featured the skirt already. And then what I decided to order was this matching jacket, cardigan, blazer. So this, yeah, this is the, the blazer part of it. And this is the skirt. So I actually decided to order a size up in this because the size medium did fit, but it was really quite short. So this is the size large that I've decided to get. Just to give you an idea for reference, I'm five foot seven. Yeah, I went for a large because even holding it up, I still don't think it looks that long, but yeah, we'll see what we think once it's on. But this is the skirt. It's like a little tweed with this kind of denim band, which I'm going to admit I'm not 100% on, but overall it does look really cute. And what I really loved with it was the blouse that I think it seems to be really popular with Zara right now is the kind of necktie. They've got two styles of them out, but I've got one of them in this haul. So I think that's what I'm going to pair it with and then the cardigan on top. So this is the blouse that I am meaning. So it's got this kind of necktie and it's got really lovely pearl buttons and it's got a nice rounded collar because they actually do have a version with a sharp corner which I originally ordered and I've decided I'm going to keep this one instead because I do prefer the round collar. So this is kind of the first three pieces I guess. I'm going to pop it on. I will show you probably the blouse and the skirt together and then we'll see what the cardigan looks like on top. So I'm back with it put together, but to be honest, I'm not quite sure it is working for me. The skirt is sitting lower because it's the bigger size, but that's kind of throwing off the fit a little bit because I would prefer it to be higher, but then that's giving me the sort of length issue. So what I'll do is I'll come in a wee bit closer just to show you the details. So this is the blouse. This is just gorgeous. And I think it's one of these pieces that will go with so many other Zara items. So for example, putting it under a pinafore, putting it with a skirt like I just think you know even a wee jumper you could probably put on and have this kind of over the top I just think it's really really cute the skirt I absolutely adore the pattern the tweed I think it's really a cute kind of blue check which I really really like but the sizing is a bit of an issue because the medium it fitted really well sorry the camera is, I always does this goes so dark it fitted really well in the waist but the length was just a bit too short in this <clears throat> sorry this now feels just a little bit too loose so I'm not really sure what I'm doing with that but I will show you with the cardigan on top to be honest I'm not quite sure it is totally working for me but you can let me know what you think to be honest I'm just not sure about this I it's maybe it's the blouse actually as well to make it a little bit too maybe if I have it like that oh, I don't know it might be the blouse maybe a polo neck would look better it's just I don't love it as much as I thought I would I don't uh, I don't know I really like the whole idea of it having like the sort of longer blazer cardigan with the wee mini skirt that matches but I just don't know and also this chain belt I'm not I just don't know what you're supposed to do with this to be honest I imagine like are you supposed to I don't really know I'm gonna move on from this one I think because I'm just not there's no I don't know what to say about it to be honest yeah, I think I'm going to move on for just now. Okay, so this is the next piece which I am in love with. I think it is so gorgeous. And this is the ones that I've put the, the blouse underneath and I just think it looks so cute. Again, I had to order a large because the medium, again, it was just far too short, like really ridiculously short. There's no way I could have worn it out of the house. So I've gone for the large. I'm not sure how this is going to sit, but let's see. So here's the pinafore on and yeah, I feel like this is a bit more like it. I think this is working a bit better for me. So just kept the blouse on and I've popped this on the top. So this is a size large and I will say it is probably slightly loose fitting, but the length is, is definitely better. So I think I'm going to keep this large and then what I might do is just get it tailored slightly because yeah, you just want that a slightly bit more fitted, but 
I really, really like this look. I think it's very Gossip Girl, it's very chic. It's kind of like a little bit Parisian as well. Kind of 60s, yeah, there's a lot going on, but, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this put together. I just think it's a really cute look. And of course you could do the bow, you know, like that as well, I think. I've not done that perfectly, but I think, yeah, you, there's a few different things you could do with it. And I just, yeah, I'm really happy with this. So I think I will move on to the next item now. So this is the next item here. It's just a classic Zara tweed skirt. I think this is one of the reasons I feel like we all love Zara so much is their, their tweed items are just so good. So this is just, I would say like quite a simple tweed skirt, but what I liked about it is that there's got these two nice pleats and they're quite defined. I just quite like that at the front. So I was thinking, I'm just gonna pop this on with a plain back black polo neck. We'll see what it looks like. I think I went for the medium. Yeah, this is a size medium. So yeah, I will show you this one on. Okay, so this is the skirt on, just to say, I couldn't find my black polo neck, so I borrowed Jack's, just because I actually don't have that many, like just plain, simple black jumpers. Kind of just wanted to show it to you like this, because I think the skirt does the talking, if you will, but yeah, apologies, this probably doesn't look as well as I wanted it to, but, but to be honest, this is kind of the same as my black polo neck. So this is the little skirt. Yeah, there's not much I would have to say about it, to be honest. Like, I think the fit's really good, actually. It's not too short. It's still quite short, but I think that is just the way with the Zara skirts. They all they always tend to be on the shorter side. But I just really like the pleats. I liked how strong the tweed kind of check is on it. Yeah, so I think this is, yeah, I think it's a winner. I'm just not sure whether I need it because I have, I have a few skirts like this, so realistically I probably don't need it. But I think I will just move on to the next couple of pieces. So we're now on to some autumnal pinks, which I think is a look that's, it's quite hard to do because pink isn't necessarily the most autumnal color, but I think, I haven't actually tried these on together, but I think this look could, could look quite cute. So it's another tweed skirt with this time in a really nice kind of dusky pink kind of color. And I think with this, you could definitely pair it with white. I think you could do it with black. I think you could do it with a few different colours. You could probably also go more autumnal as well, like maybe go for some caramels. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think this is quite a versatile skirt. And then this is a wee top that really reminded me of a top Elle Woods wears in Legally Blonde 2. Legally Blonde 2. <laughs> she wears it when she goes to the office. Um, she wears it one of the scenes. I'll If I've got a wee picture, I'll put it here, but it reminded me of that. So. I'm not sure how this will look together because this, this is quite, it's not cropped, but it is quite short. So I'll put them on together. Yeah, see what happens. Hmm. Okay, so what do we think? Uh, I don't know whether because this is quite a tall polo neck, it feels a little bit too much. I like this look. I think it's actually very cute. I think with like white knee high boots would be really cute, but I'm not like totally you know, obsessed with it, if that makes sense. I'm not sure, it's kind of hard to tell what that looks like on camera because I I don't know, I would probably prefer it if you could do, say, like a round neck, like not as tall a polo neck, and then put a wee blouse underneath. Do you know, like a sort of pink vest rather than like realistically you couldn't put a blouse underneath, I don't think, unless, yeah, you can obviously put the collar at the top or anything, so, mm, I'm not sure. Oh gosh, I'm going into my reel. <laughs> Size-wise, I think this is a size small and the skirt is a size medium. I do like the skirt because it's got this belt, which I think is ideal for kind of nipping in your waist a little bit. The only thing is the length of the skirt is quite odd. Like it's slightly uneven, I would say. Like it kind of, I don't know if this is going to come across. But yeah, it kind of goes up at some points. Like I'm not sure whether it's we, I've got it sitting, but... Yeah, it's a bit unusual. Sorry, I can see that's gone so dark again. Bring it back up. I actually do think this is a really cute look and I think on lots of girls it would look amazing. I'm just, I'm not sure about it on me. So, hmm, this one's a definite lit maybe, I would say. So this is another wee skirt that I picked up and I've seen this one a lot on Instagram. It's been really popular. I've seen lots of girls wearing it different ways and I think you could do a lot with it. I really like all the sort of fringing on it. We're not fringing yet, like pleating, and then yeah, it's kind of a fringe here, I suppose. But I just thought, yeah, let's try this. It's a nice brown colour, like it's not too dark, but yeah, let me try it on, see what we think. I've just quickly popped on this 
kind of camel polo neck. This is from Primark. I got it quite a while ago, but it's one of my absolute favourites for this time of year. It's just ideal for pairing with skirts and stuff. And yeah, I popped the wee skirt on and I have to say, I really like this one. I think the fit is really good. I think it's quite flattering on the waist and then you've got a bit of volume. I just think it's really cute and I think it would go with quite a lot of different things. And I've seen girls, I've actually girls, seen girls do it with black. I think you could do it like this kind of colour and you could maybe bring in, I think even as I had it on with the soft pink jumper, it actually looked quite cute. So yeah, I do. I think this is quite a nice autumn staple skirt. And I just, I think the detailing on it makes it quite unusual, kind of stands out as well. So if I didn't say this is a size medium that I got and I would say this is the right size. It is, this is what's funny, it's actually a little bit loose at the waist, but I don't know if it's worth risking trying to get the small because it's probably going to be too short or maybe even too tight. So I'm not sure, I might just stick with the medium. So I don't want this video to be ah, so I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna kind of move on as I still have a couple of bits I want to show you. These next two items are very much 60s retro kind of vibe. So the first is this dress here, which I saw hanging up. I actually bought this in store and I just was like, that is so cute. Very 60s, you can see the print, the style of it as well. Really got, it's really got a retro feel. And then it's got this nice little belt that comes around, which kind of pulls you in. And I think with white knee high boots, it might look slightly costume-like considering it's Halloween coming up, but I, I really think it's so cute. And what's actually nice as well, because it's, you don't often see this, is like a fully opened back on a wee dress like this. I just thought that was a really nice detail and made it quite glam. So this is the dress and I actually decided to buy or I ordered the skirt. I haven't decided whether I'll put it on, to be honest, because this is too small. So what size did I go for? A medium. It's, it does fit, but it's too tight and it's too short. I mean, it is, I would describe this as a micro mini. Like it is really, really short and it just doesn't suit me. So. I think it's a very cute piece. I think, depending on your height, I just, I'm not sure because for me at five foot seven, it was just way too short. Like literally, if it sits here, it's just, it's too short. But I'm gonna pop the dress on and I will show you that one once it's on. So here's a little dress on. I'm not sure how that kind of looks on camera because obviously you can't see the full length right now, but honestly, it is so cute and it really has just this 60s vibe to it. So I'm gonna try and step back. You can just about see the length there. Sorry, it's my my room isn't that long, so it's hard for me to try and film to get the full length in. But yeah, I just thought this was really cute. Definitely up my street. I'll turn around and show you the back. So obviously it's completely open, like I said. So yeah, I really, really like the dress. The skirt, unfortunately, it's just too small. So yeah, I would say I actually had an idea which I've kind of executed with another skirt, which was you could wear like a burgundy jumper with it, which I thought would be really cute, but it just, yeah, it just isn't working for me. So I like the skirt, of course, but I I'm, I can't really show it to you on because it just honestly, it's just micro level. So I think I've just got two more items to show you, which obviously showed you how much I ordered. But yeah, I'm going to quickly show you the second last one because it's kind of a, a sort of more of a basic piece. So I have been looking for a burgundy polo neck and I was so happy when I found this one on Zara because it's just kind of what I've been looking for. So I'll see if I can hold it in closer just so you can see the colour. So yeah, it's a kind of rusty burgundy colour and there is a Zara skirt that I'm going to show you which I actually bought from Depop so it's not one that's available right now but it's got wee burgundy tones through and I just think it's a really cute look. <laughs> so this is the skirt here. So I got it from Depop, I think it was about 10 pounds. If you search, you should be able to find it because there were a couple of sellers. So you can see it's kind of got burgundy, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of black, a little bit of blue, but it's a really cute look and I'm just so happy that I've kind of managed to kind of pair these together finally. So I will do a wee shot of them on just so you can see, but I'm gonna just move on to the final item of this video today. This here, I feel like, I don't know why I kept it till the end because I probably should have started with it because I think it's just been such a classic this season. I think it's one of those standout Zara pieces. I absolutely love it. It's just, it's so Chanel looking. It's so elegant. I really love the two-tone contrast. I just think it's gorgeous. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly slip it on over this for just now. The reason I'm worrying about the time is because I can see my camera battery is 
not got long left in it but I know you'll have seen this blazer on lots of other people because it's just been so popular but this is the size small that I'm wearing and yeah even just thrown on like this I just think it looks amazing I'll do a full length shot just so you can see it with an outfit but I yeah I just think this is such a gorgeous piece the only thing I wish they did a matching skirt I think that would have been so cute but I'm kind of going to finish this video today I'm just really worried that the camera just suddenly goes so thank you so much for watching I really do hope you've enjoyed this video I need to work out what I'm doing because there's a few misses today to be honest but sometimes that makes it easier to decide but yeah as always lovely to have you thank you for watching I will see you next Thursday at seven o'clock bye